Hey guys, me Dave. It's, uh, uh what is it? 717, seven, 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 uh, 2022. So, um, not much going on tonight. I'm just sitting here. Um, they were remote or monitoring me all day, but, um, that was about it. I watched, they had a Rocky marathon on, so I was watching all the Rocky movies today. <laughs> Um, you know, remember, I don't have a vehicle, you guys, so, and my relative worked all day, you know, 9 to 6, so, um, you know, I, I cooked for the dogs today, and then I, I made supper, I made a salad, uh, a crab salad, uh, cold ca crab salad, um, today and stuff, so I was just cooking today and stuff, um, getting hit, you know, uh, they, they had a big thing over the park, uh, like a big neighborhood get-together thing, and, they had some perps over there, you know, I'm not saying they were all perps, but they did have some out there. They were pounding and yelling right by the house, and you know what I mean? They're yelling, ooh, 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 you know, doing stuff like that, and, you know, kind of making the dogs bark and stuff, um, you know, some of them were perps, I'm sure not all of them were, but, so they had some music over there, they had a barbecue, they had this big bouncy thing, so the kids could go bounce in it, and... Stuff like that, you know, I didn't go out of the house. I, I didn't go out of the house. I was going to go check out my truck and start it up and stuff. So make sure the battery wasn't dead. And and um, I'm uh, I'm sitting here waiting for payday. Um, and then I'm going to see if I can make an appointment to get my truck fixed. Um, if they cause a problem for that, um, I might have to try to fix it myself, you know. Uh, my credit card came, uh, you know, uh, my uh, new credit card came. Uh, because I'm going to have to finance, I'm going to have to charge this car repair, um, just in case it's, it's, you know, I got a, uh, they sent me a credit card with $500 limit, um, you know, and, and, uh, you know, just in case it's, fi it's more than $500, I don't know, I'm going to a, another mechanic I, I've never been to, he's been around for a long time, he's a good mechanic and everything else, but, I don't know. I don't know what he charges. Um, the other guy I go to, he cuts me deals all the time. He he be, he'll be like, "Well, I'll do your brakes, and you need new caliper, but I won't charge you for that." Or or if I pay in cash, um, he always knocks like twenty bucks off the bill. And you know, the only thing is, he's way up on the hill. Um, you know, because we, we I I live below the hill by the lake. Um, he's up above the hill you know, and, um, he, I, it would cost me $150 to get my truck towed up there, I can't drive it up there, um, I could probably drive it over to this shop, it's only a few blocks, um, just do it early in the morning, or, or late at night when there's no traffic, and drop it off, um, but I can't get it to my regular mechanic, it would cost me $150 to get it towed up there, uh, the last time I had a vehicle towed up there, it was $100, you know, I had to pay cash. I don't have AAA or anything like that, so I had to pay cash. Um, I need to get AAA, you know, or get AAA or get towing or something like that, um, so I can have towing. You know, um, that'd be the smart thing to do. But uh, you know, so that's that's the deal. That's that's the real world problems, you guys. That's the real world problems, and then we have to deal with our targeting. You know, we we wake up, we have, we're sleep deprived. We're waking up a few few times a night. Um, we get up and get up during the night and get something to eat, get, make an ice cream cone or whatever, eat some ice cream or whatever. Whatever we do, um, they wake us up a few times a night. Um, they've been doing that for a while. For for me, I'm not sleep deprived, but I do wake up a few times a night, and then and then I get back to bed for a few hours, and I gotta get up and feed the dogs and stuff like that you know you have real life problems if you have pets or kids or a wife or whatever and you're going through this you have to deal with your everyday problems um i would like to have a job i would like to work two days a week um you know everyone you know around here there's a lot of good jobs starting at 20 bucks an hour a lot of good jobs out there right now um you know, they're paying like 20 bucks an hour, you know, I, McDonald's is paying like 18 bucks an hour, you know, if you work a night shift, you know, so um, there's a lot of good, good, decent paying jobs out there and stuff, and um, I would like to work a couple days a week, but, 
they won't they won't let me you know I applied for like 10 jobs uh, nobody calls me back um, it's difficult now because everything's done online you know everything's done online they, they you can't walk into a place and ask for an application they're like we don't have any everything's done at the website you know so um, I got a fly buzzing around my head um, you know so everything's done online and it's it's difficult you know to explain I mean you can give all your your previous jobs you know you, you know I had a good job record and all that stuff and I've been on disability since 2016 now so we're talking what what is that uh, six years you know they put me on disability um, you know and stuff so it's it's hard to fill out an application online and explain that well I'm on disability now you know and I haven't worked since 2016 you know it's hard it's hard to find a place to explain that on the application you know they're, they're gonna look at the application they'll be like what, what has this guy been doing for the last six years not working or just a bum or you know what what has he been doing so it's a very difficult situation when you when you have to do things online and apply for jobs online um, I must have applied for ten of them nobody called me back nobody did you know and I have experience in the field that I, that I was uh, applying for you know um, I have my class A license uh, there's no way I would pass the DOT physical for that. I wouldn't pass the physical now for that uh, with a heart attack and uh, with my uh, fake diagnosis that supposedly that I have. Um, I wouldn't pass the physical. You know, I, I hang on to my license because I worked my ass off to get it and stuff, and I don't want to give it up. You know, um, I can keep it for life. You know, but am I going to be able to use it? Probably not, and, unless this really turns around and we get some kind of, you know, we get we get uh, what we deserve and we get this this stuff reversed, you know, and stuff. So we have to deal with our real world problems, and then we're dealing with our targeting on top of it. You know, these guys want us to think about targeting twenty four seven. You know, 24-7, every single day, you know, this guy makes me run to the bathroom every single day. Every single day. Every single day, you guys. Makes you run to the bathroom every single day. He is obsessed with making me go to the bathroom. You know, just like they were obsessed with making my feet itch. They made my feet itch every single night for over a month. Every single night. This guy would keep me up, make my feet itch. Or these people. Or whoever they are. You know. Um, that that stuff I, th I think they can do manually. Um, I, I, I really do. I think the guy's pressing some buttons. Oh, we'll make him run to the bathroom, make his feet itch. We'll make him throw up. We'll make him dizzy. We'll make him off balance. We'll, you know, stuff like that I think they can do manually. And I think they do do manually. Because they are sitting there watching us 12 hours a shift. And they don't get off their ass and, and they can't look away. These people cannot look away. It's like playing a video game or something for these people. They can't look away. They're obsessed with us. Obsessed with us. You know? And that's what they do. You know? But we have real world problems we have to deal with. Like vehicles repaired, get our oil changed, deal with the wife we deal with the job deal with you know what I mean if, if you have that and they let you have that you know we have real world problems family members they're involved you know harassment in the neighborhood These, you know I was thinking about this today I'm thinking they are damn slaves these people are slaves these perps are slaves. You know, our, the neighbors they have involved in our neighborhoods are slaves. They can't leave town. They can't go camping. They can't take a day off. They don't get no sick time. They don't get nothing. You know, when they tell them to do something, 
they have to do it. If they don't cooperate with with this program, they're next. And these people have to do everything they say. I mean, can you imagine having the power of these perps? Or having the power over these perps? You know, where you own these people. And it's like, if they told them to run around the neighborhood naked, they would have to do it. And they can't go to anybody for help. They can't, they can't call the police. Who, who are they going to go to for help? They have to. They own these people. They have to do everything they say. And a lot of them don't get a day off. You know, and they use and abuse these people because they're, a lot of them are felons. They're, they're criminals. They're drug addicts. They're, they're drug dealers. They own these people, you guys. They own them. They're sl- they're the slaves. We are the lucky ones. They are the slaves. They're the slaves. They have to do everything they say. There's there's perps in this neighborhood on this block. If they don't do what they say, what they're told, they're they're done. They're, they're next. They have to do everything they say. If they tell them. To walk around this neighborhood naked on a bicycle or whatever. Ride a bicycle around the block naked. They would have to do it. They would have to do it. They would have to do it. They own these people and they're idiots. These people think they're powerful. These low level people think they're powerful. They own you for life. They own you. So they own these perps. I was thinking about that today. I'm thinking, you know, we, we got we got lots of perps on this block and all this stuff. And 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 people come and go, they come and go and they they, they bang and they and they you know say stuff about your life and they and, and they do all this stuff. It's like you are a slave. They own you right now. You have to do what they say. If you don't, you're next. You can't call the police. These people can't call the police. You know, they're already crazy. They're crazy. They're the they're the ones that are mentally ill. You know? So, and um, they're trying to discredit us. They're trying to discredit us so much because they, we, everyone knows we're normal, normal people. You know, but uh, anyway, so that's my video for tonight. We have we, real problems. We have to deal with our targeting. Um... You know, job, wife, house, whatever, cars, um, stuff like that. And, um, you know, we're normal people and we're trying to survive this program. We're, we're super, super strong people and we're trying to survive this program. You know, we're, we're, we're not just normal. We're, we're above normal, you know, and, and we're special people. And we're trying to get through this and, and create awareness and everything else. But we're very special people and we're very strong people. And people wouldn't believe this. They wouldn't believe what we're going through. They wouldn't believe it. You know, they wouldn't believe it. So anyway, that's my video for tonight. Um, so you guys have a good night and I'll talk to you guys later.